Hi everybody, welcome to the Attract Capital webinar series. Janine here with CEO David Barnett. Hello everybody. <laughs> How's everyone doing? So today we're going to talk about how to capital plan your big pivot. So Dave, what is a big pivot? The big pivot is whatever your business is doing right now to opportunistically uh, participate in the new economy post-pandemic. Uh, the things that you've changed in your business, you might have launched a new service, you might have focused on a new customer segment. So whatever you're doing differently to get through the pandemic and to relaunch your business post-pandemic, that's the big pivot. Mm, I love that. It's like a little dance. Right, you're kind of, <laughs> right, exactly. You're, you're doing something different than you did before, maybe out of survival, mm -hmm. but also out of strategic op opportunism because you have an ability, because it's a whole new world out there now, and everything has been scrambled. There's a lot of dislocation. If you've made it through the pandemic, you're a survivor, congratulations, but now there's a lot of new things you can do, and so you have to capital plan. You have to figure out how much money you need to get after that opportunity. So why is capital planning important? Well, because a lot of people go into big strategic moves without really thinking critically about how much money they need to do it. But when you capital plan, and this is something we've done over the past 20 years at Attract Capital for all of our clients, it's holistic and it integrates all the different elements of your business plan. So what do I mean by that? It considers the short-term factors in your business plan. It, it considers the long-term factors. It also includes all those dynamic variables, such as your timeline for execution, getting into a new market, your timeline for implementation of certain operational changes you need to make to your business. And all of these things come together in a capital plan in an integrative way to inform the types of capital you should have in your company and go after in order to support and nurture this. Wow. Sounds really great. <laughs> it does. Well, I think capital planning is great. That's why it's important. I've, I've dedicated, and Track Capital has dedicated our lives to it for our clients. Yes. That's important to have. So, what are some of the conclusions you have found with clients that do capital plan? So, a lot of our clients right now are seeing huge, massive opportunity to grow because the world has been reset. And whereas they may not have had a certain group of customers before, one of their competitors may have had that group of customers, their competitors might be out of business. Mm -hmm. So they need capital to service those new customers, okay? Um, so there's such opportunity out there now uh, with all these people that are looking for a new place. Um, what we are learning is that it's gonna take a lot of capital. So it's not, a little bit of capital that can be supported from your internal cash flow because a lot of companies lost money during the crisis so any cash they have might have dwindled it's really only capital that can be filled externally from a lender or from an equity investor um, they also have discovered our clients through our capital planning analysis that they can really uh, rocket the size of their company but it's gonna take a lot of capital to get there. Many of them have the ability to double the size of their company, but they need you know, $5 million, $10 million to get there. So it's a big check, it's not a little check. And because of the size of the check that they need, more than likely they can't get that check from their bank. So the banking relationship that they have as a reliable supplier of capital is really off the table for a lot of these people. Even though there's federal programs out there and there's the Main Street Lending Program, that there's a lot of talk on that program, but there's not a lot of action. Uh, they have to look outside of the banking arena. And then a lot of them, a lot of the results of the capital planning is that capital is a strategic weapon right now. Makes sense. Okay. It, it will allow their companies to grow a lot faster and it will allow them to capitalize on all the market disarray. So. The, the revelations of our capital planning is that it's gonna take a lot of money, but the probability of achieving the growth is very high. It's not, it's not blue sky growth that's highly speculative, it's non-blue sky growth that is very attainable, but you're gonna need capital, external capital, from new suppliers in order to get there. And that's what we've learned from all the capital planning work we've done for our clients. Ah, 
So, if you'd like to make a graceful pivot, <laughs> got your guy right here. <laughs> I like that, a graceful pivot, there you it's go. It's the dancer in me. <laughs> so, thank you so much for tuning in again, and we will see you all soon. Take care.